The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, uh, Lewis. We have a new uh, chart to show you today, folks. It's Shopify, and the reason why one of our listeners up in Canada, Mike, has asked us to look at the chart because evidently one of the key executives has disappeared for Shopify uh, from news reports. But as you can see here, uh, there's no, no sign of this in the uh in the chart itself because we just completed a gartley and you can see we're we've uh you know we're heading up to a sell gartley in this thing too but there's no reason to think anything sinister has happened here so i don't know uh what that is hold on one second here i'm trying to uh, uh we've got mike on the line right now mike how are you hey hi there larry happy black monday anniversary yeah, Black Monday it was. October I can certainly 19th. remember that. Yep, it sure was. Yeah. A lot of memories on Same that one. Same weather conditions as it was on October 19th, 1987 here in Toronto. Blue sky, calm weather, about 20 Celsius. Nice warm day, calm wind, you know, nice and sunny. Fortunately, well, what, I was yeah. expecting uh, at least a... 2,000 point drop in the Dow Jones today. Oh, no, no. Those anniversary dates don't come in very often, my friend. Uh, you, you, yeah. alerted us, you alerted us to this thing on Shopify, but the chart doesn't look like anything's wrong with the company. I mean, I, did they ever find the executive or not? No, he, he, he's just disappeared. It's amazing. This guy went to U of T. He took an advanced risk management course. He's got the CFA. Worked for a Canada Revenue Agency in Ottawa. He uh, stellar, stellar LinkedIn profile, and mm -hmm. I, I was looking at the parallels from 2008 with Fannie Mae, where they're, they're top treasurer. I mean, same status as this guy here, the director mm -hmm. of, of uh, finance, uh, the chief treasurer, uh, blew his brains out just before you know Fannie Mae crashed, you know, and then just mm -hmm. like in July 2008, when the, the chief financial officer of Lehman Brothers, she abruptly quit. OK, mm -hmm. and, and just like Enron back in, in, in you know, 2000, 2001, these, these sudden suicides, you yep. know, of all these top uh, top executives. You know, now I'm starting to think maybe just maybe Shopify is a house of cards. Well, it doesn't look like it from the chart, my friend. So don't get too bearish on it. <laughs> well, I'm always working hard as that TFNN cub reporter, you know. Always you got it. Up, okay. You know, well, you've got your, you've got your badge stand. and you've got your baseball cap on the wrong way. I think you're right in the ballpark, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of baseball, I think the Braves are going to win. Uh, I don't think so, but that's just my Go opinion. Go Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. I, I respect your opinion, however wrong it may be. <laughs> Okay, for, hey, Mike, thanks for calling in, pal. We appreciate it. Keep your reporting coming in. Okay, folks, let's take a look here. We've got a new baby in the house. I hope you all realize that we now have uh, Bitcoin futures up. I'm going to bring it up here. Here's how they started trading. The symbol is BITO, B-I-T-O. Now, remember, when we started trading futures back in the Bitcoin futures, this is the ETF, by the way. Not the futures. It's not the bit the Bitcoin futures. It started trading in January of 2019, when Bitcoin was remember the top of the bubble at uh, 20,000, and we're from 20,000 we went down to 3,000. We dropped over 85 percent, and now we've got this one coming out. Are we going to drop down 85 percent or not? I don't know. But I wanted to point this out to you. You'll see from the early morning high that we made up there at 42.20, we came down, we rallied up to a 382 retracement at 41.40, then came down and it made the 1.618 expansion down there at 40.15. The reason why that's important, those of you that follow the ABCD structure, which we do here at TFNN for trading, trade what you see, you'll notice here that we made the ABCD structure down here. So that's only down, you know, roughly 5% from the high. So the next rally 
uh, should be about the 80 cents taking you up to about 80, 60, uh, 40, 40, 86. Now, I'm just bringing these to your attention because we see them happen all the time. Now, we're having this huge rally here going into the stock market. I wanted to bring it to your attention because of the fact that we talked about this yesterday when we were on the air, that if you wanted to pick something to sell, pick the actual Russell. Now, if you remember, and I'm sure you all do, you'll see here that we have this pattern where we broke down hard, and then you'll notice the B pattern right there in the middle of that ABCD, the B pattern right there at 2270. That was right at a 382. From there, we backed off, and then between the last night and today, we exploded up and made a 78% retracement. And then you can see what's happened to the Russell. It's dropped from 2287 all the way down to 2260. Now, that's a case where the mar you know, this is a weaker than market stock because the Nasdaq, the Dow Jones, and the S&P are all much stronger. So you want to sell the weakest. That's the key to looking at what you're doing when you're doing some of these things. So I hope that helps. Uh, it's hard to remember, but it's right out of Jesse Livermore's book and also W.D. Gann and probably a whole lot of other people, uh, Bernard Baruch, for one thing, in his book, uh, the autobiography called My Own Story. So that's it. Now let's go back and look at a market that we were watching last week. If you remember, this was exactly it was when it was happening. I don't know anything about uh, Facebook other than uh, what I hear in the news, which is nothing. But you'll notice at that point right there at 318, we were setting at the exact 78% retracement. We were on the air when this was happening. And we were showing you that the 1.618 expansion to that, all of it came in right at that level. And now you can see that we've had a rally. We've gone from, uh, we've rallied 5%. We've gone from 318, all, I don't know where it is today, but as of yesterday, it was 335. This is, this is one of the stronger rallies that we've had, and that's also in an ABCD structure to the upside. So that's all I'm showing you, folks, that these things work. That's why I look at these things. You know, uh, the, if, you if, you, if you wonder why they work, that Floor Traders Handbook will prove to you mathematically without a shadow of a doubt why they work and why they repeat over and over. Do they repeat 100%? Absolutely not. But they repeat enough to give you a better idea of what's really happening. Now, let's take a look at this same pattern that we've a trade that we've been involved in right here at the TFNN for our 24-7 folks. It's a trading at 339.40, Bo tells me. So it's up another four or five bucks for Facebook. Here is the... Uh, the pattern in the euro, you'll notice we backed off uh, just a few days ago, uh, making a nice little ABCD pattern there at uh, 111575. We went up today. We made the target within two ticks. That came in at the uh, 116.97 level. Uh, that was a perfect ABCD, and we booked a nice profit on that because that's what we're trading. We're trading an ABCD. We know what our risk is, and we know what we're trying to accomplish when we're ready to do this. So that's why we're watching it so very, very closely. The reason why I pointed the Bitcoin chart out, the bit, bit toe, is because we need to follow that just to prove to the folks that are listening here how these patterns work. I mean, they go up and down with these numbers, you know, just like magic. If you remember, we were in the crude oil yesterday and we had the huge break in crude. Look at the rally back, folks. Just take a look at this, exactly to the 78% level. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Way of Up-Down Sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, I'm back, folks. I posted the uh, the AI along with the uh, E-mini S&P overlay uh, showing you the ABCD pattern. It's up there at uh, 4509. Uh, that completes an ABCD. If you like ABCD, you know where you stand. If you're looking at that, uh, it gets about 4514. You know, you're certainly wrong, but watch it really closely at that 4509, 4510. That'll happen in the next 15 or 20 minutes, actually, while we're while we're on the air. I'm hoping we have Stan Harley on today, folks, but he's traveling. His son got married in Westlake Village over the weekend, and he's going back and forth between Arizona, New Jersey, and uh, Westlake Village. So we're hoping to get him. If not, we'll have him. Uh, it's very, very soon. He loves coming on the show, and we love having him, so we'll have him taking a look. Now, getting back uh, to the ABCD and some of the patterns that we've been looking at and talking about, and one of them, of course, has been the uh, soybean market. We had some beautiful patterns in the soybean market uh, for a bottom coming in. And as you can see here, we did the same thing in the soybeans as we did in the euro. Uh, we went up and we actually made our target today. That was over $1,000 uh, in the S&P, about 850 in the euro. We gave a tiny bit back uh, in the uh, stock index futures. Uh, I mean, I mean, really tiny, but uh, that was that was something we 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 posted with a big caution, because we mentioned that if you're going to sell anything, sell the weakest. And the euros, the 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 weakest of the four indices has been the uh, uh, Russell. So that's the one you want to sell. But there's your ABCD. Uh, now we'll wait for a nice pullback. We're going to buy the beans again. When we get a nice uh, pullback to the 382 is what we're looking at as we look at some of these things. Now, moving to a market that has made probably a major bottom here, folks. And if you like ABCD patterns and you like trading with the trend, here's one that we've been looking at for quite some time. Now, this is the natural gas. Now, realize we've come down from 64, 66.4 down to 4.8. That's a drop, folks, of $18,000 in a matter of 10 trading days. Now you notice that the AB leg 
took five days to go down. The CD leg has taken four days to go down. We've already rallied $20 off the bottom today down there at that uh, 482 level, folks. So this is probably a major bottom here, the natural gas. So uh, we're watching it very, very closely. We, po we posted the intraday charts on that yesterday, uh, giving you an indication that we're probably going to get to this level. And so we're here today, and we've had a pretty good rally off of this, telling us that, yes, that's pretty good. Now, if you miss that bottom, do what we did in the euro and do what we did in the soybeans. Find a place for retracement. You know how to do that by now. Come on, boys and girls. You can do this without any trouble at all. There's nothing really mysterious about it. Now, those of you, when we were talking about some of these foreign exchange things, uh, yesterday we mentioned the Canadian dollar. We certainly mentioned it uh, in the newsletter and in the video that I sent out. But here is the pattern we were watching in the Canadian dollar. You can see it. Just spot on, there's where it was. Now, if you watched it really closely in that Canadian dollar, and we always do that here uh, for our folks, is to watch to see how the market reacts to it. Now, here it is on a 15-minute chart as it was making a bottom. Now, there's nothing mysterious about this. You can see a beautiful butterfly pattern. You have the A, B, C, D pattern there. Now, if the B leg would have been lower than the A leg, that would have been a three drive to a bottom pattern. Because it's not, it becomes a butterfly. Now, the butterflies are important because you need to watch them at two levels. One is the 1.27 like we had here. Or if it continues down, you have to watch it again at the 1.618. Now, you either do two trades there or you wait for one of the two options. Now, I would assume, because we were looking at this on a daily basis, that you would go with the 1.27, because that's the one that lined up perfectly with the daily. And that's where the ratios come in. And I, I, I try to, uh, someone asked me that question, that's why I'm trying to answer it for you. Which one do you pick? Well, you go to your daily and see you're sitting there right at that ABCD there at the 123.50 level. And when the 15-minute when the, uh, the, uh, goes to that level, that ought to ring a, that ought to ring a bell. So that's, uh, that's why we're paying close attention to these things. It's, it's no different than what we were doing when we looked at that Facebook chart, and I have I have never traded Facebook, I don't even I don't even belong to Facebook, but that's that's what you're looking at is you're just trying to get these ratios to come to an area where you think you've got a pretty good chance of doing something. Now let's take a look here uh, at the uh, German DAX. We'll get this up here, and you'll be able to see here, uh, you know where we are here we've got this four hour chart we've got lower highs going way back into early september every major high has been lower uh, we've had this little bit of a, a bounce uh, to the upside today didn't re relate very much it's a four hour chart so uh, it needs to get above uh, 15,600 and remember our our market is so different than the other markets you have to take that in consideration even though they tag along for a day or two They'll trade on their own merits. That's I don't think there's any question about that. So we need to pay very, very close attention to that. Now, I want to get back to that FTSE for just a minute because, you know, uh, Boris Johnson's been on the tube here, uh, Bloomberg and CNBC talking about the climate change. And remember, the climate change meeting is going to be held in Glasgow, uh, Scotland here pretty soon. And uh, so the British uh, Empire will have their best clothes on that day to see what's going to happen and change all the rules of the world as far as Greenpeace or whatever the cows are going to move to or whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, there you can see here on the uh, the FTSE that it's had a pretty good rally in here. Affects it much more than the German market, and I guess the German market is affected by the elections, and so those are a couple things that we're going to be uh, paying uh, very, very close attention to as we look at some of these things. Now, folks, the Treasury bond market is in big trouble. Uh, it's down again today. We had that little four-day rally, uh, actually three-day rally, up to that uh, almost to the one it – hit, it hit hit 160.06, and uh, now we're back down into the 158s. And as soon as we get below 158, folks, the next thing you'll be looking at in the Treasury bonds will be 153 interest rates – are going higher, they're not going lower. If you remember last year, at this time, they were certainly telling us we were gonna have zero interest rates, no problem at all, all across the world. That made a great deal of sense, where you give somebody your money, and they're not even gonna give it all of you back, and they're not even gonna give you a guarantee you're gonna get any of it back. 
That goes back to Bernard Baruch's um, favorite saying is, don't be concerned on the return on your money, be concerned on the return of your money. Capital preservation is first and foremost in all of these markets, and that's why we use stops, and that's why we use risk control, and that's why the patterns work, is because when they don't work, it's screaming at you, get out of the way. And we saw that yesterday in the S&P, once we went about 4480, which was the 78% retracement of that move, there was nothing stopping it once it went above that level, folks. The next level to look at was new highs, and that comes in at uh, 45, ooh, I think 45, 45, something like that. And we could very easily do that. You can see the strength that we're, we're seeing today. And strength begets strength, folks. Once these things take off, the shorts get scared. The algo traders are there. It's going to take something dramatic to make this move. We'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley on the line today of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, how are you doing today? Good morning, Larry. Doing just awesome. That's good to hear. Stan, we are very strong these last couple of days. Are, what are you looking at here? 
Larry, I think we're powering higher here. I think you're going to see record highs here very, very shortly. The, yeah, it certainly uh, looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, that that 34 week <clears throat> cycle that you and I have talked about on the air here a number of times, mm -hmm. I thought would occur in October. Um, I, I was uh, kind of vacillating between the, the the first and the second week in October, and mm -hmm. uh, and we got it. We had kind of a divergent structure. We had a low on September the 20th. And then we had a second low on October the 4th, uh, but with the second low had just divergences all over the place uh, in terms of the various benchmark indices, mm -hmm. as well as advanced decline data. And the timing was right. So put it all together, and I think we've seen our cycle bottom. The path of least resistance mm -hmm. is, is northbound. I think you're going to see mm -hmm. down the S&P and record high ground here very, very shortly. Well, certainly that could be in the next ten minutes, my friend. I, has the New York stock, New York Stock Exchange index uh, made a new high yet? It looks like it's really close to uh, making an all-time yes. high there at sixteen nine sixty-eight. Yes, uh, we uh, we have already seen, as you see, as you can see on the screen there, the Dow is almost at uh, record high mm -hmm. ground. It's north of thirty-five thousand, mm -hmm. and I think. Uh, Larry, I think 40,000 Dow Industrials is certainly in the cards. Um, not sure we're going to get there this calendar year, but uh, in the not too distant mm -hmm. future, yeah, absolutely. You're going to see 40,000 wow. on the Dow. Well, I can remember when, uh, what was that guy's name? Oh, I can't remember. He was calling for 40,000 Dow when the Dow was at uh, 7,000. What was his name? Uh, he's always in the news somewhere. I, uh, He's got a very. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, that's. Yeah, and so anyway, it looks like he's going to be uh, he's going to be right. That's for sure. Stan, do you care to share a few memories from 1987 uh, of what happened on this date in '87? What you were doing, and and uh, you didn't have the Harley, the Marley, the stock market letter yet. That was a few years later, wasn't it? Right. I didn't start the market report uh, for another ten years or eight years. Okay. I guess it was. Okay. Wow, well, in '87. In Los Angeles, uh, watching Channel 22, KWHY. Yeah. That's all we had back sure. then. Sure, sure did. Yeah, um, that's for sure. I um, remember it very vividly. The, the. Uh, if we have time, there were a couple other charts I thought I would share with the audience as well. Okay, I didn't. Uh, you know, the thing that I wanted to mention uh, here is. Uh, hold on one second. They're 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 asking a question. Hold on, just one second. A question to you about in the Dan. Let me make sure I get this right. Uh, uh, someone's asking a question. Do you have an opinion on the direction of gold, Stan? Before we uh, take a look at these other charts, I think the metals are in a large basing structure. Uh, ultimately, I think we're going to see higher prices. But for the intermediate term, I think uh, I think there's could be a little bit of softness ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. But ultimately, if if you have a little patience here, I think you probably see the metals uh, push higher, but not not in the near term. Okay, that looks pretty good. Stan, I have a question. Back in '87, uh, you know, we had just been trading the stock index futures in April of '82. Uh, Where uh, eight, uh, yeah, 19? Excuse me. 1982, and uh, it, the thing that I was going to ask you is, were you actively trading the futures uh, at that time uh, during the 87 crash? I was not, no. Yeah. I was just well, sticking with equity and options. I was uh, a big, big option trader. Um, yeah. Uh, I was trading, uh, well, I was trading futures, but I was not trading the S&P at that time. There was no E-mini. The big contract started getting pretty expensive about that time. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah was, they were uh, still well, trading the, the big ones. I think the margin no. on the, the big contract back then was about twenty-five thousand, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, the, on the toward, towards the end of the time at that time, in, in late October, it was up until that time it was running around six thousand. But then when the crash came, you know, it dropped, uh, you know, thirty thousand in one day, and that was it. They said no more of that, and so they started raising it. And then later on, they came up with the E mini, which was I think in about four or five years later, around ninety one or ninety two, I believe the uh, E mini came into play, and that's been uh, running. I, I was trading the large uh, the large contracts. I didn't have, well, you didn't have to have many, because four of those were equivalent to 40 of them now. So 40 S&P now, your margin on that's going to be uh, pretty close to a quarter of a million dollars, you know, so it's not for the, even then it was not for the small players. 
Sure. Stan, I, I remember the options. Even if you were in stock options, I mean, the option premiums were just absolutely insane on that day. I mean, they were – you couldn't even get filled. I mean, even if you looked like your option was zero, nobody would take the other side of it. Mm. That's that's how I remember that. I mean, it was the craziest time ever. Was, I was more concerned about getting my money out of my brokerage account than than I was closing any positions. And I had a bond position on that I was really nervous about. I was long the bonds, and they were only down a half a point. If I'd have been thinking clearly, which I wasn't, if, if how could the bonds only be down a half a point with the stocks down 16%? Boy, if that wasn't screaming a real buy. And they went up 11 straight days. And I, uh, I always, uh, I'm, I'm like, well, I always complain a lot anyway. But I remember that as one I wish I had gotten back. But I never did back in them after that. I never chased it after that. And on the right side, but uh, no cigar. Uh, Stan, I only got two charts from you today. Did you have a secondary chart? I'm uh, not sure what happened. Well, I see a chart of the New York Composite Index, something you and I okay. talked about here just a minute or two ago. The yes. uh, the New York Composite is in record high ground as you and I speak. Yeah. Uh, the Dow Industrials, the S&P 500 are not yet, but the the index that is a, the broadest measure of the New York Stock Exchange is in record high ground right now. Uh -huh. So yeah. uh, I'm confident that's going to pull the Dow Industrials and the S&P up uh, along with it. Yeah, that the fact that it's leading is a big thing because it usually follows and it's leading this time. So that's telling you that somebody wants to own this stuff and they happen to be right. So you don't want to stand yes. in front of it. That's the way I look at it. That's for sure. Listen, my friend, I want to thank you for being with us. I know you had to really pull some strings because your son got married and you're you're traveling all over the country. But uh, we'll have you again in a few weeks. Travel safe. Uh, keep in touch. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate you coming on. OK. Absolutely, Larry. My pleasure. You it's my pleasure, folks. That was Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. If you'd like a copy, just go to the Harley Stock Market Letter, request it, put in the secret code TFNN, and you'll be on your way. Okay, folks, we're going to have uh, go back and take a look at the gold market here uh, a little bit. And we're also going to keep an eye on this E-mini S&P just for uh, kicks and giggles so we can see what the market's doing as we uh, walk through these uh, next half hour of the trading day. I'm still looking at this uh, ABCD pattern, as you can see here, uh, we're looking for it to get to about that uh, 4509 level. So far, we've only been to 4507. We're trading at 4504 right now, and we'll be uh, watching this one very, very closely. Uh, also, boy, this natural gas is, boy, is it moving. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I'll bring this up and show you when we come to the break, folks. We've had a huge move here. We're, we're moving up 28 bucks here. Uh, in the natural gas here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're almost, we've already exceeded the 382 of the last move. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of silver. This is the daily chart of silver. You see the high we made here a couple of days ago up there at the 61% retracement, uh, 2380. All we could do over the next couple of days was drop down about 60 cents to uh, 2308. Uh, uh, and then today when we took out that high earlier this morning, uh, the market just exploded to the upside. We went all the way up to the 78% uh, level that came in at uh, 2420. We're trading at 2392 now. When that was happening, uh, gold was only making a 61% retracement there at uh, 17, uh, uh, 1786 exactly. I mean, hit to the exact tick, 1786, and from there we dropped about $13. Well, I knew at 1786 that you know the risk there was not going to be too much because we had hit been a high of 1785.90, and you go up and make a new high by by 10 cents, and it doesn't go running away from there. Gee, that tells you what this risk control is all about, and that's what these patterns are for. Because when they fail then that's what you're looking at. Now, if you were looking at a 61% retracement here in silver and you didn't pay attention to that one, you know, you're going to get hammered pretty hard. But it goes up to the 78% level, and if you check it really closely, and we're going to do that right now, by golly, because I think I this could be extremely important. May or may not be, but we're going to look at it anyway just for kicks and giggles here. Let's just move on here. We're still waiting for uh, 4509 in the S&P here, but let's get this silver up. And just double check to see if that's a 382 on the long term, because if that's if that's a 382, that is going to mean a great deal. So bear with me now. I'm doing the calculation now. Oh, you can't make this stuff up, folks. Give me a break. <laughs> oh man, I don't understand this business. Yeah, look at this, folks. The exact 382. The whole move came in at 20 or 20. And the high today was 2420. So let's uh, pay attention to that because once we get above that, then you want to, then you know silver is getting ready to go to the uh, take it off. But there, there's where it is right there. That's the high back in May to the low in October, the 382, which was back on the uh, 30th of uh, September, was exactly 382 this morning there, folks, at uh, 2420. Uh, I think that was the exact high. Let's double check it. 24.18, let's be corrected. 24.18 is the actual uh, actual number, and we're trading at 23.91 uh, now. Uh, that, uh, I should have been watching that one a little bit closer. I was watching gold, but I don't trade silver as much, and so I don't uh, didn't get involved with it too much. So let's get back here and just talk to our friends here that are watching ABCD for, uh, for, format. We'll uh, take a look at this uh, E-mini again for a second. 
and you'll see here that we are still looking at this level here of uh, of 4509. Uh, There's one other thing that when you're doing these things like this, you really need to know what the expansion numbers are. You know, expand the numbers from the high we made at 7 o'clock in the morning when we went from 4504. We dropped 18 handles all the way down to 4487. And if you take that, and this is the type of thing we do on the all-day trading session, we'll notice that that 1.27 expansion comes in there also at uh, 4509. So at 4509, you know you have a really good spot to uh, to get it get short. You have an ABCD there, and your stop has got to be above the uh, 1.618. That would put you in at 4516. So that gives you seven handles or $350 risk. And the profit on it would be uh, well over $600 if, in fact, uh, it would uh, if it does, does that. So we'll do uh, one thing at a time as we go through uh, some of these things right now. We need to pay. Let's just get back here. I I'm watching the, the bit, folks, because of the fact that it's going to be one of the best things to trade. Uh, I really believe that. Let's just get this up here so we can see it quickly here. Yeah, we've already had a nice rally. We got right up where we thought we were going to be. Let's get it back here and take a look at it. And there you are. Where's the ABCD to the downside? Let's get this it. Hold on just a second here. And we're going to do this together so you all get to see it at the same time. And there's the ABCD. Completing down there at 4011. We expected it to rally up. Now we wanted to see what the retracement was from the, the move back. And that retracement came in exactly at 50% so far. And that was at uh, 4109. Let's just draw this in so you'll be able to, to see where we are at that. And it was also the 78% uh, retracement of the high that we made back at 4137. I know this is micro trading, folks. But frankly, uh, I am just trying to uh, give you as much information as I can about how these markets work. They work on the same thing on a four-minute chart, two-minute chart, ten-minute chart. Dailies, weeklies, and monthlies, they do it all. But the trouble is, you know, people don't always see it, but that's, uh, that's basically what we're, what we're trying to do here. They, they have as much predictive value as they do unpredictive value because when they don't work, that's when they're the most valuable, folks, because it tells you you don't know what's happening. I remember uh, talking specifically about looking at the Russell in the video that I did on Sunday. I said, you know, watch the Russell. It's been the weaker of the market, and it continues to be the weaker. Let's just double check to see how, if that's weak, if it maybe if it starts getting strong, that tells you that maybe some of the people that are doing the uh, the Russell business are not. Uh, oh, it's actually well. Here's a perfect example. Look what's happened here to the Russell here, just recently. Okay, let's just get it up here. After we made that big ABCD, look where we are. Look where the Russell's coming to, folks. We're getting ready to hit the 78% level very, very shortly up here. Get this up here to see it. So that's the first time we're starting to see some pretty good buying coming into the Russell. Where it's coming from doesn't make a whole lot of difference, boys and girls. What does make a difference is, is if it goes beyond it or stops right there. That's the whole key, because at that particular point, if it gets to the 78% level, that's your stop sign. And if, if it doesn't stop there, hey, you know, they're only right about two out of three times. And boy, believe me, two out of three is pretty good in these uh, in these days and age. So we'll uh, we'll keep a very, very close eye on these as we as we go through and uh, look at some of these other charts. We're still watching this S&P here at the 4509 to see if it's going to uh, line up with what we're looking at. Let's take one other quick gander on check to see where we Oh, boy, we're almost there. Let's take a look here. Oh, this is a tough decision to make. Boy, this is it, boys. This is where the – this is where – listen to that noise out there. That's a fat lady singing. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Here she comes. She's coming around the mountain when she comes. So this is it. This is what you love to see. You got th – th this is the whole ballgame right here. We should be topping right here for at least uh, the rest of the day here in the next few minutes. Let's see if it works this way or not. I don't know. All I know is that it gets above 409 – by much more than five points, I know that there's something wrong, but we're still watching it there at that 409. I'm going to put the beeper on just in case it comes while we're wow. The show's almost over. Um, anyway, folks, let's uh, let's watch this today. I, it looks like we're going to take a break here, 
and then we'll come back. Uh, we've only got a couple minutes, but we're in an area where this should be. I'd like to see a little a little pop up there to that 445.08 uh, level. Uh, the high has been uh, 45 uh, 07 and a quarter. I'd like to see a new high. We'll be right back. 877 927 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, I posted the chart of the Euro folks. As you can see, the ABCD pattern there. All I've done now is I've connected the old highs that we had by a dark line. And you'll notice that that retracement that we're looking here would also line up perfectly with the uh, last retracement that would come in uh, pretty right at the 382 of the whole down move. And so those are a couple things that we're following here, you know, to get an idea of where to re-enter the long side of the euro, because we believe this is the beginning of a pretty substantial move and we want to buy it back. We booked some nice profits today. Same thing in the soybeans. Uh, they went right up to our level. Uh, 20 cents higher than where we bought them. And so we're watching for a retracement now of about 18 cents uh, in the January being sometime over the next day or two would allow us to get in at a very, very low risk. Now, you risk sometime missing some of these moves, but you know, it's always going to be somebody out there standing on the corner, folks, with their quarters waiting to get on the bus. That's where you want to be. Keep lots of quarters because uh, you can get on that bus and you'll be just fine. Looks like we're lost Internet connection here. Uh, I don't think anybody can hear me now, so it looks like the store, the, the uh, 
Uh, broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. I think the chicken is in the pot and has left the building. Elvis has left the building, boys and girls. I'm afraid that that is it, and the game is not played the way we like to hear it. Does anybody hear me out there? Well, evidently, I thought I'd lost internet connection because I got beepers telling me that uh, I've lost data and everything else, so I guess we're still here. Anyway, we'll see you folks on the flip side whenever I'm back. May God bless, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and we'll see you soon. And keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. <laughs>